Titanic was a walk in the park <laughs> compared to this. I mean, if you look at the size of Titanic, um, at 800 and some feet long and 175 feet tall, uh, it was a massive thing. And so if it you know, broke up, hit an iceberg, fell down to the bottom, it had a debris field that was, let's say, you know, a mile large. Um, and in an area, they reported their last position. It was a big ship. It didn't move very fast. Uh, I think their search area for Titanic was roughly 10 miles by 10 miles, so 100 square miles. And we're looking for something probably one 200th the size of the Titanic. Um, in, an, in an area that is, uh, instead of 100 square miles, probably 2,000 square miles. So uh, in an area that's significantly larger. So the level of complexity uh, and the odds of, of success here are you know, orders of magnitude more difficult. Uh, I did a quick calculation, which is about 4,000 times more difficult than finding the Titanic. So, so maybe it is, I'm a little crazy, but, uh, but if we can do it, it'd be, uh, it'd be great. And if not, we're going to learn a lot about science in the meantime.